Hello friends, Coach Bob here. How you doing today? Today, a little more of a serious conversation. Today, we're gonna to talk about the wonders of healthy feet and why you should protect them while you ride. All you have to do is Google motorcycle accident and flip-flops and I guarantee you, you will see some of the most horrible pictures ever. It is absolutely mind-boggling that someone will get on a 500 pound, 200 horsepower, two wheeled machine, a beast with zero foot protection. Each of your feet has 26 bones, 33 joints, 20 of which are actively articulated, more than 100 muscles, tendons, and ligaments. Your foot is quite the God made marvel and it deserves to be protected. So I guess the question is how do we define protection? Would that be Chuck Taylor's laced up tightly? Well, I guess if you're a nun riding around Stonehenge in the grass, ha, maybe. Or if you're wearing cowboy boots, I guess if you're riding tandem in MotoGP, might be acceptable. Or maybe you might want to wear a pair of those 1970s retro stacks. That is, you know, if you don't mind some bizarre flame-throwing cell phone texting stranger to crush your feet. Well, I'm going to tell you, none of that sounds appealing to me. And I'm, I would actually recommend a pair of CE rated armored riding boots. Quick story with you before we get going. Three years ago, I was running. And while out on that run, I broke my fifth metatarsal. It took months, months for my foot to recover. I limped. I hobbled. I was told, you'll never run again. And guess what? I didn't think I would. I walked and I walked. I would break out in a cold sweat walking a quarter of a mile. And my wife would go, you're Coach Bob, you're Superman. It shouldn't affect you. Why are you sweating so much? And I was in absolutely brutal pain, brutal pain. Nothing I did seemed to work. And I thought, I'm never gonna get better. I managed to get through that. Is my foot 100%? I would say no. If it is, it's certainly not 100% there because every time I jump, I wonder, Am I gonna break it again? You don't want to hurt your feet. You don't want to hurt your ankles. You need to wear something that's gonna protect them. And the minute you don't, that's the one time you're gonna fall. I recommend CE rated riding boots. My boots of choice are made by Alpine Star. More specifically, the SMX1R Vented Ankle Boot. And we're gonna talk about that right after this. So the Alpine Stars SMX-1R low cut performance riding boot, they actually do have some real technical innovations, you know, for improved comfort, fit, durability, that kind of thing. I'm not gonna tell you it's the best riding boot that's made. It's not, it's not designed to be. It's a daily riding shoe. It's something that you can put on and have a sense of security and know that you are gonna be okay when you're out riding in it. And that is something that you really need, at least I need, that peace of mind. For those of us who are somewhat fashionably conscious, the SMX-1R low cut riding boot actually looks pretty good. At least, you know, I think so. It does perform well. I would call the SMX-1R vented version a four season boot in the state of Florida. Yeah, I know it, it's not a four season boot where you are up north, certainly not in most places in the world, but here it's a four season boot. It is a vented boot. So if you're up there, you're gonna get cold. The upper is a microfiber and TPU construction and this fancy synthetic material is actually superior to traditional leather. And, and it's a lot cooler. So if you go for that occasional slide down the pavement, you might uh, actually save a couple of layers of skin. Synthetic suede around the leg where your foot goes into the boot, and it guarantees that there won't be any rough spots on the front and back of your leg. Also, the boot's anatomically cut with a nice little curve that allows you to, to move that foot forward or backwards without any hot spots developing. The inside is a mesh material and it breathes really nice and it'll keep you from having them funky feet on those hot summer rides. The sole is one piece from the front all the way to the back. It grips up over the toe and all the way around to a cup on the heel. 
it has enough flex to where walking isn't miserable, but it doesn't really compromise stiffness that you need out of a good safety boot. So you may be thinking at this point, well, you really hadn't told me a whole lot that's different than say a Chuck Taylor. Is there more? Well, yeah, listen up buttercup, because there's a lot more. Across the top of your foot, you have a small piece of TPU that protects, well, it protects my fifth metatarsal, which is very important for me. The reinforced dual compound toe slider and the toe box provide great protection around the toe and the toe slider is actually replaceable. The TPU dual density material that covers the inner ankle bone or for those anatomical sticklers, the medial side of the ankle. There's also a TPU plating on the outside or the lateral ankle bone as well as the upper foot, like I said earlier, that kind of is right over that spot over your fifth metatarsal. The TPU that wraps around the back of the boot actually forms a cup around the heel, very heavy, rigid, and durable. And it makes me feel a lot more comfortable and safe when I'm riding or eh, even more when I'm out doing stupid things on the motorcycle. So again, is the Alpine Star the best? I would say no. Is it the worst? Certainly not. Is it a good boot? I will say absolutely. I recommend it without hesitation. I love it. I'm going to use it so I'll wear them out. I do plan on buying some other boots and doing some more reviews on those things. I've got some gloves I'm gonna be doing reviews on here pretty soon. Three or four pair that I've purchased, I've been using for probably seven or eight months now. I think they're gonna be pretty good. A couple of complaints about some of my Icon gloves, but we'll talk about that at a later time. So, hope to see you next time. Be sure, click, like, subscribe, share with your friends, no, it's all going to be okay. So until next time, you stay safe.